Once, dragons and men coexisted. They shared a peace forged in wisdom. A peace that lasted many generations. All that was lost when mankind disrupted this balance in a sudden onslaught. Man fought dragon in a savage war that shook the foundations of their world. This war was called the Scouring. Defeated and humbled, dragons vanished from the realm. In time, man rebuilt and spread his dominion across the land and onto the islands beyond. A millennium has passed since those dark days ended. Hello everybody, Monovoir here, and welcome to my Let's Play of Fire Emblem 7, The Blazing Sword. Uh, I brought a guest with me today, actually. Introduce yourself. Because I don't feel like That's why I don't. Now, I would explain what Fire Emblem is as a franchise, but I've already done so in a more mediocre Fire Emblem game. So instead, let's just jump right into this one with the prologue, A Girl from the Plains. Uh, you are a tactician traveling across Elib. Set your name, birth month, and gender. Use the control pad and the A button to enter info. To start with the default setting, simply select no. No. Yeah, let's just let's just go with the defaults because yeah, yeah, these are the things I want to use. Let's just go with the defaults because uh, I don't actually know how the horoscope system in this game works, and if I did, I would be abusing it. A girl from the plane. Are you awake? You mean? Okay. Never mind. I found you unconscious in the plains. So, um, this is one of my favorite Fire Emblem characters. I am Lynn of the Lorca tribe. You are safe now. Who are you? Can you remember your name? Well, uh, yeah, unlike Awakening, we don't have dumb amnesia and we remember who we are. Your name is Mark? What an odd sounding name. A complete, that completely normal name sounds odd to me. It's Fire Emblem. Be quiet. <laughs> but pay me no mind. It is a good name. I see by your attire that you are a traveler. What brings you to the Skay Plains? Would you share your story with me? Hmm? What's that noise? I'll go see what's happening. Mark, wait here for me. See what's happening out here. Up, oh, red, and Fire Emblem, red equal bad. <laughs> oh no, bandits! They must have come from the town from the Burn Mountains. They must be planning on raiding the local villages. I have to stop them. If that's all of them, I think I can handle them on my own. You'll be safe in here, Mark. There's two bandits, we'll be fine. <laughs> what, you wanna help? Well, can you use a weapon? Nope, sorry, try. this is an awakening. Ah, I see. So you're a strategist by trade. An odd profession. Someone has to do it! <laughs> Very well, we'll go together. Over here! If you want to help Mark, I could use your advice. I'll protect you, so stay close to me. Unit information. Lynn is the blue unit. The enemy units are red. Mark, you are green. Essentially, battle consists of blue allied units and red enemy units taking turns moving on the field. You're only here as a strategist, Mark. You will only appear during special events. 
Your job as strategist is to place your cursor on blue units and issue their orders. First, select a unit. Place the cursor on Lin and press A. So the, the first map of this game is very automated because uh, this was actually the first Fire Emblem game to come out in the West, so this is sort of a tutorial to you. Uh, okay, so yeah, the blue area is where we can move to. So we select Lin, move to a space, and then we press A to move there. And once we're done with our turn, we hit wait. Uh-oh, that bandit spotted me. He's coming this way. I mean, luckily this bandit doesn't have enough move range for them to get the first attack. Let's close in and attack. Select Lin. Uh, so we move, So to attack, you have to be right next to an enemy unit. And then the attack op option pops up on the menu. So you select a weapon, you select the enemy you want to fight, you hit A, and they duke it out. I'd like to point out that his name is simply Weapon. What? His name is just Earth. Bandit. Yeah, and he's, he's a generic unit. He's just a bandit. There's a lot of generics. I don't even think... Victory! Uh, yeah, so Lin's been injured, so we need to actually use a healing item called a Vulnerary. Okay, so we're, we're going to go over to that hut over there. Uh, but we're going to... Since we've got... Since bosses can't move, we're going to move a little closer to the boss and then use an item. So, uh, vulnerabilities come with three uses, and they restore 10 HP. Thank you, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Now, let's go get that brigand over there by the GUR. Remind me to tell Mark that I said thank you without any actual context whatsoever on Saturday. <laughs> so yeah, now we're just going to fight the boss. Uh, we have to move to one of those spaces next to him, though. And we attack. Hurry, oh, thank you. Uh, you think you can stand up to butter the beast? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of damage. He won't hit again. Yeah, this this is a scripted map, but like, if this weren't scripted, there would be a very good chance that so many people would have lost this map because you lose if he hits you twice. It's also scripted for Lynn to get a crit here. What? How did you? So, uh, yeah, when a crit lands, you'll do three times the damage you would normally do, which allowed us to take out Bada. But you still take the damage. But you still take the damage! And uh, this is a type of map that the GBA games find very popular called Seize Maps, where they, they don't end when you beat all the enemies. They actually end when you... Uh, so when you step on a specified space with uh, your Lord character and seize the and seize the map, so we have to we have to seize uh, this hut here to clear the map. Good work, Mark. Let's go home. All right, we did it. Good morning, Mark. Are you awake yet? That fight yesterday must have taken a whole lot out of you. Uh, yeah, it very much did take a lot out of my uh, strategic reasoning to have a scripted map. Yes. Say, Mark, I want to talk to you about something. You have some experience in the ways of war, I can see. Would you allow me to travel with you? Oh. You, you want me to get permission from my parents? Yes, Lynn, it's time to stop. Where are your pet? Never mind. My mother and father died six months ago. Well, that got really dark. The Lorca. They don't... I'm the last of my tribe. 
bandits attacked, and they killed so many people. The tribe was scattered. My father was our chieftain, and I wanted to protect our people. But I was so young, and our people were old-fashioned. They wouldn't follow a woman. No one would follow me. I would follow you anywhere, Lynn. I'm sorry. I've been alone for so long. No. No more. I will shed no more tears. Thank you. I'm better now. Fire Emblem 7 is an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> Mark, I want... Sorry, what? Suppressing your emotions are bad. That's bad for you, Lynn. Please don't do that. I must become stronger so that I may avenge my father's death. Bad for your health. My name is Lynn. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Yesterday's battle taught me something. I won't become stronger by sitting here alone. That's why I was only level one. That was my first ever level up ever yesterday. Mark, tell me you'll train me. That you'll let me travel with you. How am I supposed to train? I, I, have, I have no combat expertise. You will? That's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yo, Bane, what do we do? Lynn thinks we have uh, combat expertise. Sounds like we're watching an episode of Dara right now. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Next to Corin, Mark is worst Avatar character because <laughs> he's not even like involved in the plot at all. It's just, hey, can you find the girl? Click. Good job. <laughs> like, don't worry. Can we just for the rest of the playthrough. Sorry, what? Can we just call her Dora for the rest of the playthrough, please? <laughs> no. Lynn doesn't deserve that. Don't worry, don't worry. After we're done with Lynn mode, um, Mark basically fades from the story. Uh, we'll be better off working together. I know it. You'll be my master strategist, and I'll be your peerless warrior. We can do it, right? Travel with Lynn, Mark. Give her your aid and master the art of combat. Complete the tasks set out in each chapter and help Lynn on her quest. Turn the instruction window on or off by pressing Complete select. the task. What? Instruction window off and select are all in red. That's bad. Red is bad. Red is bad. 